Look, I got a box. Good morning, everyone. Um, the framing on this video may or may not be great, but I got a box from a company called Unikey. They, um, I, I don't think I had heard of them before. They approached me um, offering some products to review, and so I took a look thought I was interested, so that's what we're doing today is sort of an unboxing and first impressions. Um, they make binders, like custom binders, and so um, I looked at their website, and it's interesting if you look at it, it feels very, like, corporate. Um, it feels kind of more, um, like, industrial as far as the website design, so I'm not sure who they cater to mostly, but I think they're trying to maybe branch out. This is the impression I'm getting. They're trying to branch out into the planner community with some cool custom um, planning binder type um, products. And so I haven't looked at this yet, which is why I'm, I'm just telling you. Um, I looked at their website and then I said, well, what I could use, I liked, they have a garden planner, which I thought would be interesting to check out. And then I also asked if they could send me something that I could use to organize my stickers. Because if you have been around here, uh, I've shown it on camera a couple of times. It's a mess. Um, but I keep all of my stickers just in like an old oatmeal box. They're not organized and I've been meaning to get some sort of binder to organize them in. Um, so if I like what I've got here, then I will probably do another video where I talk about my sticker organization at some point. But uh, today I'm going to do a bit of a blind reaction. I've opened the box just to confirm that there are two things in here. So let's take a look. First is, I think this um, is what was sent for my sticker organization. It says arts and crafts scrapbooking on it. And then there's some oh, information. So I guess I'll probably want to take this out and replace it or something. Um, the thing that's really interesting, and I think both of them are this way, yeah, is they have a clasp. So that's going to be really great, I think, for the sticker storage. I haven't even looked at this yet. How to personalize your Unikeep craft binder. Let me see that. It's um, uh, sort of a, I guess, matte, you know, cover here, but it's still a little bit glossy. See, it's a little shiny, sorry. Uh, let's see, uses uh, everything securely in archival safe pages for scrapbooking and albums, collections, storage, stamps, cards, stickers, photos, ribbons, paper, washies. I'm pretty sure that's not how I would pluralize that. Pens, coins, tickets, and more. They do seem to like specialize in collection, uh, like collector cards and stuff like that. Um, and then build another binder. No, build your binder by adding all your materials. Be creative. Design your own. Fully, full overlay insert for cover. Fourteen by nine. So is that? That's this way. Fourteen and a half inches is. Okay, let's see how this opens. I think 14 and a half inches must be the full width. Okay. Um, let's see, mini sheet protectors. So that's, this is what the sheet protectors are. And this, these are the different sizes that they have. Concert tickets, secure page, movie tickets. Oh my gosh. Recipe page. Recipe page. I don't know what the point of that is or how that works. I'd have to look. They do have like a cookbook recipe binder on their website that I didn't really get a good look at. Business cards, stamps. Yeah, I guess if you collect stamps, that would be a good spot for it. So their full sheet protector is five by eight and a half. So that would not quite fit a half size. If you're taking like a letter size and folding it in half, that would not quite fit. And so these are the rings um they are shaped everything in here is like this plastic white plastic and these are a little bit flexible and i honestly i'm not sure how they open maybe like this oh wait oh, oh no oh there we go okay and then pop up like this and then you just sort of insert this little guy into here and it snaps back into place so i was sent this binder with let's see and then you've got 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are these all? Yeah. Eight, nine, ten of this design, which looks like it's a full size page. So that if you wanted to, I think, no, maybe not. Thinking that maybe you could, is this, is this supposed to be closed or open? Oh, okay. I think this is supposed to be closed at the bottom, but it's got a gap here it, that may or may not be intentional. That might be um, a manufacturing flaw, but it's got two pockets here, but it's open on the top. So if I had something that was sticking out, that would be fine. And this would be for something smaller. Um, so that's 10 of those. Oh, no, 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 wait. Oh, wait, I'm confused. Okay, so this one seems to be open on the bottom. And then a middle one. Did this one have a middle one too? Okay, so there's also a middle pocket. In this case, it is sealed all the way across. So it's a bottom pocket, a middle pocket, which is very narrow. Um, and then a top pocket. So I've got 10 of those. And then... <laughs> I was just recording my play with me yesterday. One, two, three, four, five of this full size. Let me see how this opens. This is just open from the top. Okay, this just opens from the top and it's just the full five by eight and a half size here. And the question is going to be, does planner Kate sheet fit in here because these are the ones that are difficult to store in my drawer um, they're too big to fit horizontally oh no see these are eight and a half by five and a half and so they don't actually fit completely I could though punch these probably um, and put them directly on the rings or cut off the washi strip. And I probably will because I do really need some sticker organization. Um, or I guess I could also just tuck them in the back because it looks like there is room for them to fit here on the back um, next to the rings, just not in a sheet protector. So maybe I'll start by doing that um, until I decide whether I want to take off the washi strip. Because like uh, in theory, I ever... It's a usable strip of sort of a washi style decorative sticker that comes on these planner gates. They do, it does come off, you know, um, like, you know, like that. And in theory, I might want to use it someday, but like I never have gotten around to it because these aren't usually the colors that I will use together. Like I don't usually do rainbow planner. Um, okay. So I'm definitely going to be putting my stickers in here. Um, let me know in comments if you have an opinion whether you would want to see like a live uh, video of me fumbling through and finding ways to organize them or if you just want to see the finished product um, when everything is done. I really like about this the um, the closure. That's pretty cool that it's like all safe in there and I would feel comfortable taking this with me if I was, you know, traveling, which I don't really travel with all of my stickers, but if I were, I don't know, doing a, uh, if I like going to planner meetups and stuff like that, I would totally bring this with me. Um, the rings seem like they might be a little bit fiddly, but I will let you know, maybe once they've been opened and shut a few more times, they will start to get a little bit easier to work with. Um, and like I said, it looks like a couple of the pockets have some, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, uh, maybe I, maybe I have five of one five of the next because there this one here has smaller pockets the first I think it's five of each kind so the first pages are solid in the middle and then they have four of these um, pockets so that's probably these business this looks like this business card one and then I've got five of these and oh it could be this one it's hard to tell yeah I think it might be this one the trading cards, the recipe page, which I'm, I would have to look at their website to see how that's supposed to be used for a recipe, maybe just for the cards, but what do you do with the middle part? I don't know, but I think I can use that for like some sampler 
um, you know, smaller little sheets and individual guys. And then the full shape protector, which will be good for the larger pieces. Okay. So like I said, let me know in comments whether you would like to see just the finished product or whether you want to actually see me do it live. Next up, let's take a look at the garden journal. So this is one of the pre-made planners that they have. They have like a wedding planners and stuff like that. They seem to be mostly catering to special event type of things. Sorry, it's kind of loud. I'm always having to tell my kids, you're not allowed to play with plastic bags. It says so. Right there. Okay, so it's got a nice little design that's like a an actual like exterior what do you call that garden designer you know what do you call a person who designs gardens anyway um sketches and stuff some watercolor and it says garden journal all the way around so this one doesn't have instructions on the back so i'll keep this here and it also has a little clasp so let's see oh we've got Currently, I do, I have like a list of to-do items in my main planner for the garden, and then I have um, like a spreadsheet on Google Drive that I use for some things. So let's see. Camping journal, golf, video game collection. It's a different garden journal design. Wedding. This one has a picture of a giraffe, so who knows? Pregnancy journal. Movie collection, um, this one's products and accessories available in mini or standard size. So this might be the mini size because it looks like standard is like almost a full like a vinyl record size or something. Here you can keep your guitar pick collection in here. So it's all kinds of collections I think they're really good for. Yeah, they have some for discs. So if you have any kind of like collectible storage needs, these uh, seem to be really good options for that. And they can, I think, do custom stuff for you um so if you're looking for something specific for a collection i would recommend taking a look okay so this also has some page, page protectors in the back so let's see garden journal this paper has a bit of a texture to it i um it's pretty thick i don't really know paper weights let's see all downloads are for personal use not commercial so i don't know if maybe they send these sometimes out as downloads or maybe you can purchase these inserts as downloads. Sorry, again, the framing. I usually do pocket planning. Um, it says something about them being downloads, but anyway, they're printed out here. Um, let's see, garden journal. Individual plant info. So for a specific plant, you can say what it's called, what kind it is, how the soil is. All my garden has the same, well, most of it, anyway. Sowing and planting dates. Honestly, just like three lines for that. It seems like either not enough space or just no formatting at all. Um, that might get messy. You know, I would be hoping for like, like, you know, start seed, plant out, you know, expected days to harvest kind of thing. But so this tells you what kind of fertilizer and stuff to use with it. Sun and water requirements. So if you're doing, it would be good for if you're doing like research, um, maybe for, like I feel like this would be particularly useful for before you even put it in your garden um, and you're like trying to pick what's going in for the next season, maybe. Let's see, one, two, three, four, six, seven of those, then garden plot. You can put a little tour on here. Um, notes, sure, definitely. Um, one, two of those. Um, I definitely have a new map for, you know, twice a year for every season. <laughs> Sorry, I get two seasons in my garden because I have a summer garden and a winter garden. If you didn't know, I live in Southern California, zone 10B. We do not get frost. So um, yeah, I have stuff in right now that's going to be in the ground until March when it starts to bolt because we start getting some sum temp summer temps in like March and April um, and I will pull it out and put in tomatoes and stuff then. So, so plant name, bloom and harvest. Okay. Um, 
I'm not sure. So B and H, I guess, is for bloom and harvest. I, I think I maybe I, I don't have the experience to know. Are there plants where you pay attention to that for both? Like, if I'm... So I grow vegetables mostly. So you get a flower and then you get... Whether it, it, it you know, it pollinates and then you get the tomato. Or you get the zucchini and, like... I don't really care when the flowers show up, as long as they get pollinated. Um, so I don't know about that. But anyway, I guess you can use this as sort of a Gantt chart of, like, when something is... Maybe I would put, like, maybe planting, like, what zo when to plant it and when to harvest. I don't know. That's interesting. I'm trying to think when I would use this specifically. But I think probably just, like, just keeping track of, yeah, when to plant so when I can harvest, and that would be a good archive, and like, if I can't remember specific things like, you know, pumpkins, like this year I planted my pumpkin way too early, back in like April or something, and then I harvested it in like July, <laughs> it grew faster than I expected, and so I just sort of sat in our house waiting, um, but it was still fine, that's the thing about pumpkins, I guess. Weather, log, oh my goodness. Date, temp, humidity, rain, frost, snow, and observations. Um, how long will this last you? Is this once per day? So I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, I, I think I just focus on if the soil is wet or not, and if there's rain in the forecast, or if it's going to be cooler or warmer coming up. But like, I just look at the forecast. I'm not looking to log it so much. And if I were, I would look up an almanac. Hmm. I'm curious to hear in comments if any of you have more ideas for how these can be used. Garden Diary. Um, dear Diary, today I pruned my tomatoes, uh, and now my hand's smelling tomato plants. Um, I think a lot of my garden thoughts tend to be very short-term. You know, and then once I get the thing done, then that's fine. Um, but this would probably be nice, honestly, for just, like, literally going out and thinking, you know, just deep thoughts about nature um, <laughs> instead. All right, this is useful, I guess, for when you're buying stuff online. I think I want to start... Uh, I bought seeds online because I started my garden, like, I didn't start gardening at all until 2020, as we all did. And, um, so I was doing a lot of online shopping cause I didn't feel safe going into Home Depot. Um, and I think I'm going to be purchasing some more seeds for the spring online because they don't have all the varieties I want at the big box store. Um, so that's so useful information products. I don't know. Everyone sells the same stuff. But that's useful, I suppose, for remembering where you got your stuff. I bought seeds from two different places. All right, plant, herb, floral, vegetable, type of pest, method of treatment, date of treatment, did it work? This is useful. I think this I would make a point of using. Um, because, yeah, I'm not always paying attention to, like, dates of when I tried something and if it worked. So that's good as like an actual log of like, what did you try? When did it work? I mean, I, I do garden organically, but there are still treatments that you can use. Uh, all right. And then, oh, these are a little small. I wonder. Hang on. Currently. <laughs> This is, uh, this is my shame. This is not a, an oatmeal box, but, um, yeah, this is where I keep all of my seeds. So for example, this is like a standard size and unfortunately that doesn't fit, but these are the ones that I have, uh, oh gosh, <laughs> these are the ones that I have, um, for my own seed saving purposes. They're just little, you know, jewelry bags from Amazon and ah, they also don't fit. Oh, so close. Okay. Well, then I don't know. I don't know what goes in here. I'll probably just put them in the other one. Have you ever heard of Carissa? It's this like pokey bush, and so it was used in like landscaping in the Walmart parking lot. But I saw these little red fruits on it. I'm like, that looks interesting. So I Googled it, and you can eat them. And so I did. 
and they're very tasty, so I saved some seeds. Um, I don't know if we're going to try to plant them. My husband has this vendetta against neighborhood dogs peeing on our yard, and a spiky bush might help with that. So uh, there's several, let's see, in here. These are, I think, more of the collector card ones. Okay. Uh, okay, so that would work, but also, like, I don't know if I feel safe leaving an empty an open seed packet. That's why I'm saving them upright, storing them upright. Um, in here, because I've lost a lot of broccoli seeds when they fell. All right, so I have more of these recipe sized ones and then more of the full sized ones, which I suppose would just be used for like sheet protectors. Oh, and tabs. Nice, there's tabs. Honestly, I might pull this, these out and use them in my um, in my sticker binder because tabs would be useful possibly there too. Um, but yeah, tabs generally good idea. There are four of them here. And then that is it. So I'm getting ideas. Um, I also, when I, if I get this set up and I'm using it regularly, I have, I've tried doing more active planning for my garden and it hasn't always worked it hasn't always felt super necessary but if i find this to be useful i will do a setup video for it at some point um if i find that i absolutely love it um if you have some more ideas for how to use some of these inserts or other things that i could include in here or should or whatever um because i think it would be pretty easy to just print out something um i could probably use the half letter and just trim it a little bit um, and there we go. So comments below and I will link to their shop. Um, I think they said that there was going to be a promo code you could use that would get you something off if, uh, you use my code. If that goes through, I'll post that in the, uh, the description as well. Otherwise I'll just post a link to the shop so you can check out what they've got. If any of this has piqued your interest, um, I am very excited to set up this guy. So let me know also your preference, whether you would watch a live stream of that um, or whether you just want to see the finished product. No shame. Absolutely don't mind. Uh, I might put up a poll so you don't have to like put your name to it. Anyway, thank you for joining me today for this extra bonus video. I usually post videos on Thursdays. Um, so you will see me in the next one Thursday and uh, don't expect Sundays all the time. It's just for special occasions like today. Uh, I said thank you for joining me. Yeah, that's it. All right. Have a good rest of your weekend. Bye.